My name is Carl Pei. I'm one of the co-founders of OnePlus and I'm 29 this year. So we started OnePlus back in December 2013 and we saw a problem in the smartphone market, especially in the Android market. We felt like people weren't really making phones for the sake of making great products, but rather for marketing purposes. Phones back then were just not really well made at all. So we just wanted to create a better product. That was the entire reason we started. But we also saw that there was a new way of selling phones. No longer did you have to sell phones in stores. E-commerce has had become a way of kind of selling phones and we just wanted to give it a go on a global scale and no one had done it before. From a marketing side or from a sales side, we've kind of revamped our business model completely. When we started, we were e-commerce direct to consumer. And after a couple of years, we kind of saturated that market globally, especially in Western markets. E-commerce is not a huge channel for buying phones. Most people have a 24 month contract um, at their carrier and that's how they get their phones. They buy a new one every two years. And this is something that we started doing, um, experimenting with back in 2017, when we started working with carriers in Europe. And last year we finally launched with T-Mobile in the US in over 5,600 stores nationwide. And it's just a brand new muscle that we have to develop. We really know how to make consumers online, these techie people really excited, but how do you actually sell to somebody who's walking into a T-Mobile store who's never heard of you before? That's a muscle that our team currently does not possess. We're still kind of training to get there. And I think that's um, the direction we're gonna take in the next couple of years. I think 5G, to be very honest, is not something that's going to fundamentally change our lives in the near, ter near term future. Um, just like when 4G just came out, it took a couple of years before all the app developers found great use cases for 4G, which really made it useful for consumers. We're in a similar position for 5G. It's brand new. It's not fully rolled out. However, it's very important to us because of our history and which consumers we have. Out of all the smartphone brands, we probably have the most tech savvy user base of them all. So if there's any smartphone brand that's supposed to be focused on 5G, it's us. And that's also why we were the first to commercially launch a 5G product. Um, actually, the, the 7 Pro 5G edition uh, in the UK with EE recently. <laughs>